Yeah, Mark, so we have the move over law in Connecticut. You see police or firefighters working on the side of the highway trying to help somebody. You move over. That law also includes tow truck drivers as well. But drivers we spoke to say people are not moving over for them. Selena Khan doesn't have an office or a desk. She works on the sides of highways, and it can be dangerous helping people in emergencies. No one's moving over. I almost got hit. Her family runs Nelcon Towing in North Haven. They've had some close calls on the job. People not respecting tow truck drivers, not following the move over law. I wish people would respect that law because I shouldn't have to watch my back every two seconds while I'm just trying to do my job. Tow truck driver Christopher Russell, also from North Haven, was killed last year helping someone on I-91. So that could be any one of us. And so it really, it hits home to me and it bothers me tremendously. Selena is fighting for her fellow drivers, raising awareness about the move over law and the dangers drivers like her face every day, pushing for a new law allowing red and blue lights on the back of tow trucks. They see those red and blues and unfortunately those are the lights that get the respect and people do slow down and move over for. It's something that does need to be addressed. Selena met with Senator Paul Ciccarella, who's on the state's public safety committee. It does make sense that maybe that could help. In the meantime, Selena found a loophole putting red and blue lights on a cone which goes behind trucks during emergencies. I don't want to see my dad, my sister, my brother, my friends, and my like second family here get killed because people couldn't follow the rules and they're being selfish. So Selena is pushing for change now. She knows it could be a while. For now, she hopes people, when they see tow truck drivers helping people on the side of the highway, they'll move over more often. We're live in North Haven tonight. I'm Dylan Fear in Channel 3 Eyewitness News.